On part 11, plexiglass on the monitor, right? So I measured the monitor from the frame 18 and one, 22 and two line, right? So I'm gonna use a, follow my tutorial, part one, part two, part three, I forgot. Use a drill mill and, and sand, that's it. and. Test it and see if it fits correctly. I'll be back. Check it out, boys. Plexiglass is done. All right, up next, uh, side artwork. Um, the lips. Be right back. Mm, coming along. That's, that's, man, that's clean. All right, boys. Next up. Figure out where to put the amp. Either on the back, on the side here. I can adjust. Or leaving the front right here, double sided tape, and uh, mount the woofer down so it doesn't move. I think it's the best place for me right here. You get it? So I can move. Best spot. But right, I'll be back. Here it is. I found the uh, L bracket laying around. Not bad. Now I'm gonna put it in. You gotta get the idea. All right? Just screw it down. Put it in place. All right, I use a uh, 3M double-sided tape. I mean, double-sided Velcro. So, it's not good. Man, it hold up to like maybe 30 pounds. Look at that. See that, lift that up? Man, this woofer is heavy. It's good. All right, now I'm put it back on. As you can see, I go to the front. I want to make sure it's center where the door is at. So I have right easy asses right there. Perfect. It is perfect. See that? Oh, the camera's gonna blur. Right there, right back. Check it out. Not bad. Here's my remote. It's Velcro. I can take it out, right? There it is. Not going anywhere. You know what I'm saying? See that? Very nice. And, um, mm. now I'm gonna do the wire management. Get prepared. Make it clean as possible. Be right back. Okay, next up. Power supply mod. I got a spare. What you need is this. Male, female. Right? And cut. So I measure. Make sure you have enough room. This is pretty long wire. I'm going to cut it halfway. Right, I think it's long enough. Like right here. Right? I'm going to cut it. And uh, I'll see the next step. Alright, I hope you all can see. Good, right? So, I cut it. Right? Trash. Oh, no. I save it. I use all this wire as speaker's wire. The gauge is pretty big, so it's pretty long. You get it? So don't throw it this way. You can use whatever project in the future. Put it on the side. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna cut it about maybe, let's see. About four inches. Well, that's too long, huh? Yeah, about three and a half inches. Three half inches. You can use a razor or this. What to do is slightly squeeze it slightly all around it. And then you see that little gap right there? You bend it until you, it breaks a little bit. See the line? I'm gonna keep on doing it again. You don't want to pressure too hard, you might cut the wire. You get on you get on saying boys? Alright. Just go around it. Make sure you bend, you get some clear. All right, let me use the razor, All right? Just go around it. All right, there it is. Bend, bend, bend. 
and you pull it. You bend, bend, you pull it out. Now you get a nice long wire, right? So, I think I use number number 14. Get about, maybe about that, that long, right? Long enough, see that? Easy. I already have on my channel how to do this, but I'm gonna do it again. So that way you guys don't have to look for it. Where is it located? All right. All this trash. Now, just uh, crimp them, right? The female, female, female three three this because for three this will go here right power switch mod all right let's put the female female three three of them let's put them in and crimp them right simple let's crimp them Try as you can. Right there, center. See that? Safe. All right, now I'm gonna do the rest. All right. I cut this out. As you can see, this. Oh, so the camera's too low. A little, a little higher. Okay. Two and a half inches. You cut this two and a half inches. Slice it out. Put that in. See that? Two of them, black and um, white. Now, you see this two here? This two head and the last two head. So this is like a pair. So you go to the first one right here and you connect to the first one here. So I'm gonna connect the white one, right? See, it goes to the first. Make sure that's in. As you can see, first and first. See that? That's what's top and top. Now, bottom and bottom, a black one. Put the black one in. See that? Now, easy and simple. I'm gonna put the green one on the top, the pointy one, the pointy one here. That's nice. And you go with the same color. White goes to white, black goes to black. Because it's color, color coded, right? And put this in. It's gonna be a tight, snug fit, which is good. You don't want it to loosen it, loosen or anything falls out in place. All right. That's it, boys. As you can see, now let's, let's do this one more time. Make sure everything's in tight. That's so why you can see this way, right? Or oh, this way better. As you can see, green goes to the top, right? Remember, white, the first, white, first. It's like a two pair, it's like a pair. This two is a pair, this two is a pair. So top white, top white. Bottom black, bottom black. Now, the green one goes up here. Color match them, right? Oh, I messed this up. I didn't color match them. So I had to pull it back out. All right. Put it back in over here. Good thing I looked at it, huh? And the black. We're getting there. There it is. Color match. Let's put this to the test. I'll be right back. As you can see, it's all plugged in. Extra USB ports. Why not? Just in case I need to add something for power supply. But I have a USB hub here. I'm going to use that as a uh, power supply for some other stuff. And here's the power cord. Right? 
There it is. Let's put it to the test. A surge protector over a surge protector. So double protection. Not bad, right? So nothing's gonna fry it up. This boost is on. Let's go on. All right. There it is, it's loading. Now, here's the amp. Turn the amp. This amp has Bluetooth. I haven't tested Bluetooth yet. I'm putting bottom three here. See that? Hear the sound? There it is. Thing's loud. Is the bass? Put it in. I'll put like 12. Because you adjust the volume up here too. And here it is. It's working, boys. Oh, it's rattling. <laughs> That's it, not wire management. That's done. As you can see, easy. This, I'm gonna mount this in the back of the, the back cover here. Make it nice and plush. Make it look clean, right? All right, wire management done. It gets as clean as it can get. Can get any cleaner than this. This is the best I can do. All right, take it out. Look at that. This is the coin, the coin door wire, and the head jack, right? That's later on, but uh, everything else is intact. Let's put this to the test. There's my power supply, power surge, right? It's connecting all the way. See this, all right? Now I'm gonna plug this one in here to the power and keep for the test, be right back. Check it out, boys. Killer instinct. Well, DJ Kind of Ready. All right, that's it, huh? That looks pretty clean. Clean enough. Lots of room. Boy, that is clean. That is clean. That is clean. Check it out. You guys got the idea? Do your own wires management. I only show you how I do it. You can see it, right? Just be creative. You know? Just make it clean as possible. You can or not. You know, it's behind a bag. You can leave it a mess. Who's going to look at it anyways? But, you know, I'm very OCD. I like to clean my stuff. Make it clean. Nice. All right, boys. Check it out. I wired the coin door. Everything's working good. And um, there it is. I got a spare of um, lock. Believe it or not, this came out of um, a customer's order from uh, at Game Bat Box. So I kept it. Didn't need it because it was a custom back box. And here's a key. So I saved money. Also, I have this LED light from my boy Angel, aka Disability. Check it out. All nice wire. See that? Easy open and close. I noticed there's a little hole right here. So I put the wire right through it. It's nice and organized. Now, all right, boys, I ran into a little problem. Quick update. Luckily, I saved all the screws and washers from the monitors and all the other stuff I've been taking out. I found washer. I had to add like one, two, three, four, five, six washer. Six washer right here in order to extend it. Now, there's a gap. Before, this, one, this piece here was very close to right here. Now, I can close it. Let me... Uh, Watch this. Nice snug fit. Perfect. See that? 
There it is. All right, I'm gonna do the same with uh, the top one. All right, boys, put this to the test. That's done. All right, turn this, all right. Perfect, look at that. All right, LED lights. I'll be back. That's clean, that is clean. I found this on my other coin door. See this? The light bulb is uh, burned out. I have extra light bulb, right? From the, uh, from the buttons, right? First of all, I need to give a huge shout out to my boy, Chris G. Chris, if you're watching, thank you. He's the person that gave me this coin door. He's my neighbor. He got extra and I restore it. Chris, thank you so much. You're my man. He's my plug, the full size arcade plug. He knows a lot of stuff, All right? But anyways, what is that? There's nothing right there. Okay, I just test it, working. So this is connect right here. Check it done? out, boys. Look at that, huh? Not too hot. It's perfect. Look at that. No, no light, no lasers shooting out. You know, it's too bright. It looks weird. Does it look, you know, original? Now, look at that. All, all cleaned up. See that? Look at that. Look at that. All right. Next up. What did you know? All right, boys. Know. Next up, the back cover. Now, I'm going to decide to do two pieces. So I measure from right down here. Halfway here, 32 inches. I'm gonna do the rest. If I need to get asses, I'll take out the front. I need asses on the bottom, I'll take out the bottom. All right? So, two piece cover. All right? I'll measure right back. All right, it's all done. I take this, I duplicate it, I make it longer for do the top. As you can see, the line right there. All right? And uh, that's it. And now, uh, oh yeah, the power switch. I'll put it to the right, like around right here. I'll be back, I'll show you. All right, I drill a hole, I measure. Here's my spare. One inch. And you see, it's an inch and three quarter long. And it is, I don't know. That's exactly one inch, one inch wide. See that? So I use my ruler. I put it on the top, I traced it, as you can see, that's the ruler line here, same on bottom. And I use this ruler, make it a straight line. Now I have a nice straight and I, you gotta, you gotta get the idea, right? Also, I drew a line, half inch MDF, I drill dead center up there. No need because it's a big piece of wood, you can do it anywhere you want. Same on the other side. Now I'm gonna, um, Route, route this down right back. All right, check it out. It's not perfect, but it'll be covered. I put it down and I pre-drew the hole. See that? That's it. I'm gonna put black vinyl and I put it on and I work on the top. All right, I'm not gonna show you a video on how to put the, uh, black vinyl. Simple, that's it. Easy mod, check it out. Nice, clean. I'm gonna sand it, smooth it out. Put the vinyl Check on. it out, it's all done. It is. I use a marker. I paint it black on a on a side. Black marker, all black. And uh, I I'm saving uh, one more piece of a long vinyl because I'm running out. So I'm not gonna vinyl this on the other side. It's gonna be inside anyways. All right? Let's put this to the test. There it is, boys. Man, that is clean. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Power surge. Huh, mod. Power switch mod. See? See what I mean? Look. If you want to get access from the bottom, you take the bottom piece out. If you get access in the top, you take the top piece out. So, which is perfect. There it is. Check out the coin door, boys. Look at that. Let me turn off the light, see how it looks like. Uh,
Uh, look at that. Everything is working. Oh, I have to be let my key. Huh? I need to turn on with the remote. There it is. Look at that. Woo! All right, it's getting dark. I'll do the second piece tomorrow and more. Be right back. Man, this is clean. Boy, look at that. That clean it looks. Woo! All right, boys, it's complete. Now, the side art panel. Make sure you sand it down, right? Very smooth. Right All right, boys, here it is. Now, you know, I'm gonna have to align it, make it everything even, make sure I'm not missing any artwork. I'm gonna crease it. I'm gonna cut off the spare piece. Use it as tape. See that? Okay. Um, same procedure, how to apply the artwork. Same thing, I'm gonna tape it, lift it up, you know. That's it. Now, save some time for the video tutorial. All right. Can't wait to stand this up and look. All right, it's all done. It's not perfect, but near perfect. Looks, looks good enough. I, oh, I uh, check it out, guys. I overlapped this. So I covered the bottom. It's the bottom piece. So I made it extra long. I overlap it so that it won't peel. See, all done. Same thing with the front. Because this is going to be covered anyway. I overlapped it. I overlapped it because this is gonna be covered. So that way it won't peel. Everything's gonna be sandwiched, right? Everything's perfect. Now, next up, I got a glossy half inch black. I'm put the molding, trim molding on before I lift it up. Since it's laying down, it's perfect to put it on right now. Right? You bet. There it is. As you can see, nice. Everything is water resistant. Check it out. I overlap here a little bit because this part don't need because the the deck is gonna cover this, right? That was a little off right there. I'm gonna fix that. See that? All right, I'm gonna lift this, lift this up and see how it looks like. Here it is. Here's the result. That's clean. You see all this leftover? I save them. I use them as tape, or you might need a some project. Is it good? All right, next up, guys, is the front lip. So. I'm gonna unassemble this, sand everything smoothly, right? And uh, apply the artwork. I'm gonna make this black in here too. Make it look clean. Here it is. This is the lip. This is the inside. I got a spare, fits perfectly. I overlapped it and I trim them out. You see that? Just overlap them, trim them. That's it. Now I'm gonna put, this is, this is the inside. So basically this is the inside. This is the outside. This is where the, the Killer Instant logo on the... You call, it, you call it a J panel, but I call it the lip. Right? I apply the artwork next. Check it out. I pre I poked the hole. This is where the L bracket, the mount. Right? So I can pinpoint them. Poke on the side. Everything's overlap. It's water resistant. So everything's gonna be sandwiched. Meaning the artwork won't peel because everything is sandwiched, right? And here it is, Killer Instinct. Yeah, I'll clean it up. Looks nice. All right, I'm gonna put it on. Be right back. There it is. Looks very nice. Look how shiny that is. Looks clean. Professional look. All right, next up. Don't know yet. Be back. Next up, guys. I install an LED light. With a uh, USB charger, I'm putting USB hub right here. I, I got the shortest one, as you can see. Uh, this is a motion sensor. So basically, once it detect any motion, anything that moves, it automatically turns on. You can pull it out, it's a magnetic. As you can see, you can work around your cab using this magnetic, I picked it up on Amazon, had a deal with discount code for like under five bucks. It's a magnetic mount. See, let's put it in magnetic. And here's an eye sensor right here. You just literally put it right there. Let's leave it charged all the time when you're playing. It's automatic charge, right? 
So this is a very convenient, you know, if you need to work around in your cab. So that's pretty good, right? You, know, you need to tour for this. Anybody, can, you, you can use a double-sided tape, but you know, it comes with this tiny screw to screw it in. Very lightweight, right? Plug it in, USB, USB hub from the monitor. Plug it in there. You can use a USB splitter, more charge. If you need, if you need this corner, if you have a longer wire, you can plug it down there, right? All right, check it out, boys. I cut out the USB heads out, the USB. I cut it out, I don't know what's the other head out. So you guys, but uh, I hot wired the USB for the LED light. Here it is right here. I plug it in to the uh, USB. See that? As you can see, I use USB extension to reach, but it should, once I close it, it should be reaching, but this is pretty long. Also, here's the on and off switch for the uh, speaker LED light. All my hidden, either right here on the side or right here on the side. It's just a, you know, double-sided tape. That's all. Some Velcro. You know what I'm saying? It's very light. That's it. And, um, yeah. What are you in there, boys? There it is. I used the, um, LED. I used a splitter. You see this? A splitter well maybe i don't need to use the splitter anymore but i can plug it in directly right looks like i plug in directly right here because why i need the splitter let me try it hold on a second all right i don't need to use those splitter let's see hopefully it works oh here's the other head see this i cut it out so you have any spare oh look Works like a charm. There it is. There it is. USB, spare, I cut it out. I hot wired them. Plug any USB ports. I got extra USB ports right there. The power surge. Or I can use the monitor USB hub. Tips and tricks for you guys. Let me organize all the wires again. Right? Look at that. I'm gonna tie it up down. Make it nice and neat. Just to make it more clear, guys, I use the original adapter. So I use the one up extension. Right? This came out of one up extension. Extension, so I can reach over there. So basically, I use extension again, another extension. There's two extensions of one up, extension over extension. That's how I made it reach, right? So, so extension over extension. Let's say without the extension, you connect this head over there and this head over here. You guys get the idea, right? See that? Here it is. So you clearly again, and lift it up. This two connect for the uh, power on and off and switch. Check it out. All wired up. Wire management. It's okay on the side. As long as it's getting in the way, right? It's clean enough. All right, guys. And here's the on off switch right here. As you can see, I'm going to do it right here. So you look. It's hidden. Very nice. All right. Up next, I'll let you know. Don't know yet. Huh? Check it out. It's USB ports. Huh? LED lights, USB. Not a bad idea. There it is. Locked. Can't open it. No. Oh, which way? Which way? Which way is it? Okay, there. Okay, a little too tight. See that? All right. All right. Here's a quick update. The black marker is on the other side. It's on this side. 
It's on the other side. So meaning it's the front. So you gotta face the black underneath, facing up way. Now, I align it correctly. I'm just gonna use a razor, slice it out. Okay, I'll be back. As you can see, nice clean cut. Next up, I'm gonna show you tips and tricks how to align this the easy way. Be back. All right, now I had to peel out the plastic in order to see clearly what I'm using is you know, the double sided one is a pinpoint, one is a fat one. So, what I did is I marked it left, up, see my ear, left, and down, like a little, like a little uh, square shape right here, half a one fourth of a square. Right? Up next, I'll show you what next. This is the easiest way to mark how to create those bezels. See that? Okay, be right back. Now, very important guys. The clear, I pull out a plastic, the clear part is going inside the monitor. The protective film is still on the other side. So this is not, you get it? It's not, uh, I didn't write it on a trace on the plexiglass. It's traced on the protective film. It's reverse. Now, here's a trick. I'm gonna measure this. It's three inches and one, right? So I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna move this up here and measure three inches and one. Three down here. I'm gonna draw a straight line. Same goes with the rest. All four corners. You guys get the idea, right? Same things on the bottom. Same thing on the other side. Measure where you mark that. You get what I'm saying? I'll be right back. Here it is, guys. As you can see, there is my measurements. I'm gonna cut here, slice it. Here's the trick. I got a spare plastic glass. What I did is I put it on top of it. So that way I can see where the, to pinpoint exactly where the line is. I'll take a razor, slice it down. Now I'm gonna do the rest of the others. Did I get that right? And I marked it right here. This is bottom. So go to the plastic glass on the bottom when I flip it over. It's gonna be on the bottom, so that way, that way, you know, I tell you one thing, it's not exactly identical top, bottom, left, right. You gotta put exactly the way how you measure it, put it back over there. You get what I'm saying? You can't put this over to the top. You got once it's a bottom, bottom, because the both alignment are different. Like a tenth of a tenth of a tenth of like a hair, hair centimeters away, right? right. You gotta get the idea. I'm gonna cut the rest. All right, check it out. I cut it out, save this piece. Very good piece. Look at that, very nice. Don't throw that away. Here it is, there's my bezel. All right. Uh, next up, wet method. Be right back. All right, now, what I'm gonna do. Okay, remember I told you, this is the bottom, this is the top. This is marked on the other side with the um, protective film. Now, look at this, guys. If I, if I flip it around, if I turn it around, I can see the mark, it's a way off position. You see that? It's off. It is not correct. You see that? Make sure it's the right direction. This way. Right? Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna mark it here on the plexiglass because the artwork, the black is gonna cover anyways. So that way I know which is top, which is bottom. So all I wanna do it here is I wanna mark this. That's it. You're not gonna see it. See that? You're not gonna see it. So now I know where exactly it's at, right? See that? Now I'm gonna flip this over. Fill out the protective film, which I marked it here. See this? See that? Look. You see that? Once that's done, what you, what do you want to do is you want to clean it with a glass cleaner. That's first. Second, slightly, barely warm 
water like a bit over of a uh, room temperature since I put it halfway you can see right here I put two drops of dishwasher and I just shake it right I'm gonna show you a video while I'm doing it I'm gonna have to show you this because it'll get a little complicated if I don't explain it by words so I'll be right back let me set up my camera now as you guys can see you see better yeah let me adjust this camera a little bit it's kind of crooked uh, there it is now as you can see I taped right it doesn't move perfectly aligned right make sure you clean it up it's kind of windy out here I hate it when it's windy but anyways have your bottle water ready mixed with soap soft squeegee uh, scissor now I want to peel this out slowly, right? There it is. It's kind of hard to do uh, by yourself, but no choice. So you apply the, the bezel. It could be artwork, plain. I go with plain black. I wasn't good with the other one I posted up on social media with all the combos and all the, the playlist. Well, apparently the picture quality is very blurry. So I went with all black. Well, you know, looks more authentic that way. So, cut it, cut it, all right, on the side, what you do is, you just missed it, missed, 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 missed right here, so you line it, you missed it right here, you need to miss the center, all right, make sure it's enough, that's it, all right, now, I'm going to turn it this way, just hope and pray. Align it. I like to align to the edge right here. See that? And right here. Right to the edge. And I'm off a little bit. See? At least I can adjust. You get what I'm saying? Go all the way to the edge. It's a little bit over here. It's not perfect. Perfect, right? Now, give it a squeegee. Squeeze it. Wipe it. Squeeze it. Wipe it. Squeeze it out. Huh? Can you see that? Huh? Squeeze all the water out. You're ready to roll. Huh? Squeeze it. Take your time. There's no rush to do this. Squeeze all the water out. And just wipe it. Simple. Squeeze and wipe. Just, you know, pressure it out. Remember, on the edges, you don't want to go this way because you're going to rip the art, the artwork, the vinyl, because you're gonna go against it. You, you're going to make sure you, you don't go reverse that, right? Go with it. It's like saying, go with the flow. Hmm? There's something wrong right here. Why is this all messed up? I don't know what's going on with there, but hopefully that clears later on. It's kind of like a little bump don't know what that is looks like we got all the water let's make sure you squeeze every life of it out all right when you wipe it you want to go this way because it's a little, a little bump right here where with the edges where you cut you're gonna hit that so wipe it nice and dry squeeze it again Squeeze it in. All right, we continue on the other side. Same step. All right. Before we continue, you gotta peel all this out first. You know, there's still wetness right there. I'm gonna peel this out. You guys got the idea. Should I do the this side too or what? 
Just peel it out. I do the same thing as applying the artwork on the on the big cabinets. You know, just tape them. I use leftover tape on the vinyl artwork. I save them all. I save lots of money. Not buying any tape. You buy tape for what? You reuse what you have. Why waste money? Buy a three dollar, four dollar tape. You know it does add up by the end of the year. Probably sixty, seventy dollars. It depends how much. And how, how do you mod? So there it is. Now this is the easy part. All you do is just peel it out. All right? Go with the flow. As you can see right here. Go with the flow. Go with it. Go with it. Hold it down. Go with it. I just hope the wind doesn't blow this. If it blows, oh man. Then I start over and cut a brand new one. Once it's thick, you're done. There's a little bit of a piece right here. Make sure you get every bit of it out. Make sure there's no debris. Only hair, especially hair dust. That looks perfect. Now, missed it. I better miss it. Hurry up before the wind blows this. All right. Just missed it. Make sure it's enough. Missed it right here. Miss, 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 miss. Huh? Huh? Just eyeball it. Now I'm going to turn this around. Now I'm going to align it. Side by side. Hold the two edges. Simple. Go this side here. Stretch them out. You, wanna, you don't want to pull it too much. Just enough like right there. Oh, I'm a little off right there. Good thing it's wet. Adjustable, right? That's it. Now all you gotta do is, you know, take a towel, you know, microfiber. Oh shoot, let me, let me do this. It's getting messed up over here. Mm. There it is. Get all the water out all the water see all the water coming up you gotta get the idea squeeze them up i overspray a little bit but it's better that way you know so in case you messed up you always lift it back up readjust you got plenty of time because this no way this is gonna get dry so quickly right get all you look like you gotta look at a side way you know you can see like this water wipe it i can see water here it's a lot of water there it is come out i can see bubble water squeeze it again squeeze it dry it up hmm. there's a little debris right here now it has a little bump it could be a hair whatever it is now it's too late i'm ocd about that too late now it's nothing you can do but you can tell it's all black all right white white as you can see the mark is back here see that mark it's hidden because it's black i can easily take that out usually um whatchamacallit Glue off, it will easily come out, but no need to. It's behind there, you can't see it anyways. But you will see about it. You can do your choice. All right, we are done. Look at this. Huh? Not completely. All the water is out. I can see it. All right, I'll show you what's the next step. Be right back. Next up. You guys know what this is? It's a Con Air blow dryer my, for my wife and my kids. What you do is you. Oh, what happened over here? No power? Oh, turn off the power. Put it on high. Hot. I, I have a heat gun. So you just dry it up with a towel.
extra heat, make it an extra heat. So that way, extra secure. Why is that hot? Oh yeah, it's hot now, it's getting hot. You gotta get the idea, right? Let's heat, heat it up. Heat that up. You don't want to use a heat gun. You're gonna melt the plastic glass. Very professional look. Looks like it came out of a factory. Microfiber towel is the best. Can't go wrong. Won't scratch your artwork or anything. I still see water. See that? I still see it. There's water there. Once it's in, you are done. There's like a little piece left right here. I'm gonna take a razor and slice them. That's later on. But gotta make sure. Nice. Stays down there. There's still water here. I see water. Just gotta take your time doing this. Just don't rush it if you want a perfection. I'm gonna stop for now, I'll be back, all right? Let me try to finish this. You gotta get the idea. Check it out. Very nice, professional look. Look clean. This doesn't look like I even cut this at all. Look like it came out of factory out of the box. All right, next up, well, I'm gonna go inside and clean the, um, the monitor. Nice and clean and put a double side tape. I'll show you how. There it is. I use 3M tape, double side tape. I use a tweezer to flip this around. Now I'm gonna use a tweezer to pull it out easier. You don't wanna put it on when you don't do this because you're gonna be having a hard time taking this piece out. It's very difficult. So I got a tweezer, got an Amazon you know, bundle deal. Five bucks for like, you know, five different tweezers. So it's just tweeze it. Pull it up, and um, next I'm gonna put the plexiglass on, I'm pull this out, and um, really? Do I need to show you a video how to put it on? Make sure you clean your plexiglass very clean before you apply it. Clean it on the inside first, forget the outside. Once you put it on, then you clean the rest. So first off, you have to peel all this out first. I'm gonna line the plexiglass on top of this in the angle, and I'm gonna put it down slowly. You get what I'm saying? You don't want to put it like this. You want to go like the plastic glass going up this way until it touches into the max. Then you put it down slowly. You get the idea, right? Check it out. It's all done. Next up, the side panel. I'm going to sand it, apply the uh, black vinyl and the front. I don't need show to tutorial for that, but I'll show you anyways. Just a little bit. All right, another quick tips, guys. What you want to do is take a leftover tape, tape it out. Take all the wood dust, see that? Especially on the side right here. So use your leftover tape. Even though I you know, do it with my hand, I can still see it, see it? It wouldn't even come out, I use a blower, it wouldn't come out. So just use the tape, right? Leftover tape. 
get all the wood dust out. You know what I'm saying? Be back. There it is. I trace him. Now I'm gonna cut him out. Make sure you leave enough gap. So I'm not gonna cut it on point. I'm gonna leave enough gap so that's room for me to adjust and slice them perfectly. All right, let me take a scissor cut them. As you can see, there is a gap. Room to adjust, right? This is the artwork, so you gotta put on this side, overlap it, and then uh, do your thing. You know the drill. Example. Let's show you how it looks like, All right? Now, flip it. Clean up debris and dust, apply. There it is. Now I'm gonna put it on. All right, and then the artwork. There it is. The side panel is on. Now, the artwork. Remember guys, follow my step. Do not skip any step. Everything's like A, B, C, in, a, in like in alphabetical order. All right guys? There it is. Yeah, it's coming along. Wow, it looks really good. Damn. Our journey is almost done, guys. Our journey is almost complete. Doing it for all you guys. For the community. All you guys requested it on my messenger. As promised. Quick update. Right back. Like that. Finish this side. Now I'm going to do the other side. I'm going to trim them out. Good news, boys and girls. Last quick update. All right. I use a uh, DV, uh, DVI to HDMI output. And get the HDMI to here. Now the screen on the main menu, no more glitching, no more turning off and on, all that, etc. Right? As you can see, now is nice, clean, full screen, edge to edge. Before it was missing a spot here, like a maybe like maybe that much, like right there where my nail is at. All right. All right. Let's go to the home screen. Let's test it out. That is the home screen. Usually the home screen glitches off on pitch black and it goes back on, pitch black goes back on, it glitches. Well, I found a method. Let's turn it off and let's turn it on and see what happened. I'll be right back. Let me turn right, it off. Let's turn it on. There it is. What's going on? Alright, let me turn on the light. Fire. It's too loud. See that? Even on one, it's still loud. Damn! So powerful. So rumbling. It's crazy loud. I mean, crazy loud. Jeez. There you have it. It's a success. Last part. Uh... Part 11, the final tutorial. Tips and tricks, successful guys. It's LED lights, right? You check it out, work on anywhere. USB charge to a USB hub on the monitor. You work on your room. You know what's really cool, guys? If I see the sensor, I'm gonna go down like this. At nighttime, check it out. If I stick my hand in here, there's lights. I can literally see everything. You get what I'm saying? That is so cool. But if I stick it in, the sensors sense any movement. The light goes on. If I touch this right here, whatever, from this area, the light goes on, which is cool. All right? There you have it. Quick update on the Geek Worm. Now, once again, um, like this. Amazon, anywhere. Right, DV, uh, DVI to HDMI and get an HDMI. It depends which, I try a bunch of HDMI cable, right? I got lucky, I got the correct HDMI. So, good luck. Here's another tips and tricks for the Geek Worm. Success. That's it for uh, part 11, showcase coming soon. Next up boys, well, I was wondering the coin door where you drop the coin is when I drop it in here it doesn't sound right so I got this leftover aluminum came out of a Dell monitor or any monitor I save it, it was this long piece I cut it right 
and I sand it down where uh, there's no, you cannot cut. I sand it down with the, um, what, a drain mill? I, I smoothed it out. So there's not, no sharpness. So I'm gonna put Gorilla tape around the edges right here. And I put double side tape, right? Let's put a double side tape right there. So now when a coin drops, you hear the coin drop just like the arcade. I'll be back. Quick updates, right? See how I tape it, you know, just in case, even though it's not sharp anymore, it's not sharp. There's no way you can get cut, but uh, I'll put tape just in case, right? There you have it. All right, let's put this to the test. Perfect. I set it right on the center. You hear that nice sound. Now that's clean. That's it. Little tips and tricks. Whatever works. Another quick update. It's Velcro. I use Velcro, right? That's it. Velcro. So what's the coin at? Oh, yes. Look at that. Look at that. Enough room to get the coin out. Plenty of room. That's it. Check it out, boys. All done. You can see everything's intact. This is actually taller than the OG. Why the same? Death, the death is a little bit shorter because the CRT is big, so they had to extend it out. The depth, it should be about this side because you no, know, the CRT is really big. So I don't want to make it too much of a depth. There's plenty of room. There it is, all the wires management is done. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Um, on this one, it doesn't have to be uh, Best Buy. You can use Amazon. It's cheaper. It's about two, three dollars cheaper. I'll leave a link. You can use any Amazon um, from Amazon HDMI to uh, DVI. And uh, I show you another thing. There's a bit of a problem on a main menu. It disappeared due to uh, glitches. So I figure you gotta adjust this. Do not plug it all the way in. Plug it until like it's like really like really going all the way in, like a tenth of a tenth, maybe about three hair, like up to like maybe let's say it's reached down here, right? Let's say it reaches down here, so you put the head up to like right there, right? So that way you get full video picture on the main menu. That I don't know why, maybe it's messed up right here, on maybe the they do it wrong on the uh, on their end, but I figured out. Do not plug this all the way down. Over three quarter, almost full. All right, guys. That's it. And um, give a shout out to my boy um, Encore Martinez. Great job, sick artwork. And my boy Angel, aka Disability. There it is. Part 11 is done. Showcase coming soon, guys. Wow. Oh, here's the back piece. There it is. It's all black. Too late now. I don't want to put vinyls inside, anyways. As long as this is all black, nobody can see, right? And what's good about this LED lights, right? It's a sensor. I can unplug this, move it around to work around. So this is a magnetic. Look how bright that is. Oh my God. And there's a switch right here. There's a button. You can press it and it will stay on forever. All right, and then you can press again, off, and then again, a sensor. So there's three options. On, off, right? And then a sensor, and then on, you know, until you want to switch it off. And it's connected right here, the USB ports, coin door. Lots of room. I can literally walk in here. Look at that. So roomy. Plenty of space to breathe. You know, there it is. 
boy, this is clean, guys. This is, woo. It's a success. We did it, guys. Now, I'll talk about more details on uh, showcase on this. This is very clean. The wheels is down there. Never gets dent or scratch down here. And um, it's, boy, it is about 95% water resistant. So let's say you spill something or whatever, the water is, will stay on top of the vinyl. You know what I'm saying? On vinyl, so it's plenty of time to wipe out the water or anything or any leakage or let's say you get a flood, right? It's flood. So at least it's protected. If I could, if I can like over, overlap this, it would protect even more. But if I overlap it due to the curve down here, it will look wrinkled. So it's kind of hard to overlap that. But besides that, it is good. And there it is. Let's look at the front. There is the amp, volume, remote, easy access, coin door down here, the box down there. And uh, let's do this. Hear that? Hear that? That's working. All right, boys. Clean like a mother, yeah, yeah, yeah. To die for.